Hey everybody, today is January 1st, 2012. Happy New Year. And today I'm working on my indoor garden, setting up the hydroponics. And this year I'm going to do something different. I'm not going to use the little air pumps. I'm going to use one of these uh, larger air pumps that I use on my printing presses. And they really crank out the air. And you know, the more air that goes into your uh, nutrient solution, the better off your plants will be. And this is the one I'm going to use right here. I already put a little fitting on it for the hose. And this one, I'm going to, I chose this one because it was the most quiet. Here, I'll plug it in real quick here. And you can hear how loud it is. And I think it'll be even more quiet if I stick like a mouse pad under it or something. But let me show you what else I'm doing here. Well, this is day eight since I planted my seeds in the Rockwell cubes, and the plants are starting to come up. You can see there is a lemon basil, and there's a few other ones in there coming up that you can't see. Now these beans didn't come up. I don't know if they're too old, but I may not grow beans. I may just forget those. And my tomatoes have come up. Uh, there's my Ohio tomatoes, uh, Van Wert, Ohio, and there are my tiny Tims. You can see they're coming up, and they're going to go into the Arrow Garden today, and over here are, uh, those are my jalapeno traveler peppers, and I looked down in the holes and I could see them sprouting, so those will be up in a few days, and my cucumbers are just dying to get out of here. <laughs> I'm going to put those in hydroponics today, you can see the roots are just coming out all over the place, so those are going in today, and my lettuce is going in today, and in back of the lettuce I have my um, King of the North bell peppers which I looked down in the holes and those are starting to sprout too. So I imagine those will be in by next weekend. Here are my air stones for my lettuce and I figured those would be good enough for lettuce and it's just the two cheap Walmart uh, air stones that I put into a tea and that should have enough oxygen for the nutrient solution. Well I'm starting my plants on Dynagro. I'm using this up. It's about four years old and I don't want to keep it too long because I don't know if it'll stay good forever. But anyway, I have um, new stuff on order from General Hydroponics. I'm getting some more Maxa Bloom and Maxa Grow. So that's what I'll be using after this. I'll probably change this out in a week. For my cucumbers, tomatoes, and peppers, I'm going to be using a 5 inch air stone. These are pretty much disposable. I just hot glued it to the bottom. Hot glue comes right off. So every time it's time to change it out, it doesn't do any damage and uh, I'll show you how good this thing works. Well, as you can see, the air is pumping through that air stone like crazy, and it's kind of making waves in there and moving the whole container around. And it's also supplying air from the pump there up into my lettuce, which is also getting heavy air circulation throughout the nutrient solution. And this is also going to be supplying uh, two other hydroponic units, and so right now I have two open slots. So. I'm pretty happy with what this air pump does. Well, as you can see, my cucumbers have lots of roots coming through the bottom of the Rockwell cubes. These plants are only eight days old from seed. And I picked the two best ones because uh, these have a second set of leaves coming out. And um, I think in another week they're going to be really taken off. Well, a little jump in time here. I put these in two days ago. And uh, I had to stop filming the other day. But here you can see everything's in the hydro tin in the hydroponic unit. All right, here you can see my lettuce. I have four plants going, and I'm going to plant two more to fill up these extra spaces. And I have them at 300 ppm with a nutrient solution. And I have them under an overdriven T8 light, which is nearly as bright as a T5, so that should be plenty of light for them. And also under that light, I have my rosemary that I brought in from outside. Figured I'd use the extra light for them. So, let me give you another update in a few days. Okay, another time warp here. Here we are four days later, and this is day 15 from the day I planted the seeds. Here you can see a cucumber plant getting more leaves. And the roots are just starting to hit the nutrient solution, so they're going to take off like a rocket. And there you can see a Van Wert tomato plant. Let me zoom out here and there's another Van Wert tomato plant. 
and another cucumber, and another cucumber there. And let me show you my lettuce over here. Okay, here's my lettuce, and you can see it's looking really good, nice and green. And I have it temporarily out in the open here under the 400 watt metal halide bulb while I move things around a bit. I keep things on these pressed paper dollies so I can move, easily move things around when I need to. But it's going back under that uh, overdriven T8 in there. And then over here are my peppers. There's my uh, King of the North bell pepper just starting to poke their way out. And I have one jalapeno in here, jalapeno traveler. And there's another King of the North bell pepper. And these guys should start to take off in a few days here. Well, like I said, I'm moving things around today and uh, trying to figure out what I'm going to do when these cucumbers take off. Because I have this 400 watt metal halide, then I have that one up there. <clears throat> I'm probably going to trellis them somehow. I don't know yet. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> should be kind of interesting and right now I'm switching to Maxigro and running that at 600 ppm for everything but the lettuce is at 300 ppm and uh, as the uh, peppers and tomatoes and cucumbers grow I'm going to raise it up probably double it and um, that's it well that's it for this time I'll update in about two weeks and Show you what's going on with the arrow garden and the tiny tins they're pretty small right now so i'm not showing them and also i'll show you what i'm doing with my lemon basil so yeah in two weeks i'll do another update and if you want to see pictures of what's going on in between now and then you can go to my website and i post photos every few days so that's all everybody take care